In this video, we're going to create a campaign and we're going to create an RPN with a contact. So under the CRM tab, we go right across here to campaign and click on new. We need to give our campaign a description. And a start and end date. So we're going to select the same date for start and end. And we're going to give it a cost or a budget of 200 euro. And then any notes associated with our coffee morning can go in here. Then just click save. That's created a campaign. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create a RPN with a contact. Um, in a later video, we're going to create a client inquiry and we will link this RPN and campaign in to that client inquiry. For the moment we're going to go up to RPN and we're going to click on new and we're going to select a type for our RPN. We're going to select hospital and we'll fill in some details. And an address. Anywhere you see a red asterisk means that is a mandatory or compulsory field that needs to be filled in. We're going to select a start date for our RPN of today. And we're going to select a franchise and an area. In your environments, you will have multiple entries in your area drop down list that you can select from. We're also going to rank this RPN. I'm going to select a primary source for here. And we're going to select a zone. Again, you will have different entries or multiple entries in your environments to select from. In the communications tab, we're going to put in a phone number. And where you see a green asterisk means these are optional fields. So one of these three fields needs to be filled in, but not all. Then we can select notes and any notes associated with this RPN can be entered in here. Then we're going to click on save. Very important to click save as you're working through People Planner. If for any reason you were to leave this tab without saving, and go into the caregivers or clients and come back, any work you have done previously would be lost. Always click save regularly. Once we've created the RPN, we now get a quick links menu and where we can add a contact for this RPN. So we select our contacts and select new. Any existing contacts for this RPN will be listed on this page. I'm going to select new and we're going to fill out our information. We have a few options in here. I'm going to select doctor and we're going to go for our name. And we're going to link the address of this contact to the RPN by clicking on this button here. That brings in the RPN's address information. If it's different, you can fill the information in manually. We're going to make this guy a primary contact for this RPN. Again, we need some uh, contact information for this contact. So we're going to link it to the RPN. And again, if it needs to be different, you can just manually fill the information in. And any notes associated with this contact can be saved in here. Once this is all done, just click on save.